Hello everybody, Adam here once again with another Fireworks Valentine's Day Graphics Workflow Tutorial. In this lesson you can learn how to produce delicious looking vector chocolates for any graphics where sweets are involved. Let's get right to it. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is grab out an ellipse. Draw it out and then you want to make sure it has a fill of that brown color and no edge. Then we're going to go into our auto shapes and we're going to grab out the heart. And that already has the brown color, which is very convenient. Now I'm going to mess with the clef, and I'm also going to mess with the vertex arc and the vertex itself. I'm going to zoom in. Right about there looks good. I don't want too much curve on the end of that. That looks good to me. Tweak it out. Okay, now I'm going to make it about the size of that ellipse. Now let's highlight both of those by holding shift as we select them. And we can go and give it a gradient of ellipse. Now we don't want it so bright on that edge. So what we're going to do is go and find a nice creamy chocolatey color. Let's see. Let's try that. Oh, that looks really good. Now with both of those still selected, I'm going to go to distort. Now I'm going to grab them and distort them this way. Sort of like that. Now I'm going to add a shadow of solid shadow. And I'm going to mess with the angles to where it looks correct. That looks pretty good. Somewhere around in there. And you can also manipulate the distance that it's going. Okay. And you can also specify a solid color if you like. But I'm not going to do that because I want some gradients to be in my uh, on my edges on that 3D looking part. So I'm going to leave it just like that. And now I'm going to take these gradients and move them around a little. I'm going to make that bigger actually. About like that. Move it around over here. And then this one, I'll do the same thing. I'll make it a little bigger. And I'll move it around a bit. Alright, now I'm going to grab both of those. Bring them up a little bit. Now I'm going to highlight them again, and I'm going to give it another effect of inner shadow. And I want this to come from the very bottom, so I'm going to angle it the other way. And I'm going to specify it to be this dark brown color here. And make sure that's 100%. Actually, we'll leave that back where it was. Around 75 is good. We want to bring up the distance of it to where it covers. You see as I bring it up, actually let me make it a little darker. Because you can see as I bring up the distance setting, it will fill in your edge real nice if you have it angled correctly. So let's get that angle just right. That's it. I think that does it. So now when you look at them, you'll see that this one, they both have a rounded look. They're not so squared off. So if you want to use effects like those shadows, it works out really nice. Okay, now I'm going to select this one and I'm going to make it a little bit deeper. Than the other one. So I'm going to set the distance on it to about 50 or 60, something like that. Okay. And then I'm going to set the inner shadow a little bit higher to kind of meet it. Just so you can see how you can really make a big, chunky piece of chocolate. I'm going to rearrange these. I'm going to put this one over here and then this one over here because I like the heart shaped chocolate better. Now grab this one and adjust that inner shadow, the fade on it, and you'll see a difference in the roundness that your little candy takes on. You see how it takes on a nice roundness? It almost looks like a, an M&M sitting on its side. But I just want this one to have a nice rounded top, so that's why I'm doing that. And I can manipulate this thing a little more, put it over here, and that looks great. And I'm going to actually make one more heart so you guys can see one little added effect. We're going to actually write on this one. And by the way, to zoom in, I press control and I mouse wheel. Zoom in and out. I'm going to grab this one now. And before I distort it, here, let me get it a little bigger first. I'm going to scale it. Let's move this one over here. I'll scale it up to a good size. And I'm going to put the word love on it. So I'll grab out some text. Type it in. And you can see my font is Font Leroy Brown. <laughs> and I'll raise that up to be a good size that way we'll see it when we do distort everything we'll see the word love on there real nice so what I'm gonna do is make this a very 
light brown, sort of like that, or you can choose to make it darker, whatever you want. And I'm going to give it a filter of inner shadow. So it kind of looks like it will engrave. And I'm going to change that shadow color to this dark brown. And bring this down to about 2 or maybe even 1. And this down to about 3 maybe or even 2. And then bring this all the way up to 100%. Bring this down to 1. See what it looks like. It looks pretty good. Actually, I'm going to put it at 2 again. I like the way it looked better at 2. And maybe not so much. Not, not Maybe not 100%. There, that looks good enough to me. So now I'm going to take both of those together. Now I'll distort those. And you can go any angle that you want. And then you simply add your effects like you did the other one. Or I can just put that right there and it would make sense. And you can change the font to get something that you like more. There's Oliver's Barney. I can bring the size down on that a little bit. Put it into place. And then mess with my inner shadow just a bit. And it will really look like it's sunk in there. That looks pretty good to me. So I can get rid of this one, control X, grab this, control C, control V, make a copy, put it over here. Let's take the word love off of this one, control X, and we're gonna put some sprinkles on this one. And this one as well. So we'll put sprinkles on these two here. Let's see if we can get this to look better if it was darker in its fill. So let's just change it for one of these darker colors, maybe like that. Actually, that might even look a little better. Let's make it a little lighter. Uh, not that color. Maybe like this color. It looks a little more authentic, huh? Either way. Now, to make these little sprinkles is very easy. You can just make circular, perfectly circular sprinkles by adding gradient, radial, and you can change that to any color you like. I'm going to make little pink ones. So I'll go up to red, make that a really bright pink in the center, and then a darker pink on the outside color. Sort of like that. And then I'll just grab my pointer tool and move that a little bit. And even make that a little bigger if you like. And I'm going to make the pink on the bottom or on the outside just a little bit darker. Okay, that's very good. Now you can highlight that and just make it, I don't know, 4 pixels by 4 pixels. And you'll have a little tiny looking sprinkle type candied, candied shell type sprinkle thing. Now you can just zoom in by holding control and mouse wheel and control C, control V, make a bunch of copies of that, spread it around. And you can even make multiple colors if you like. We might change the colors on some of them. And I'm going to grab this guy and I'm going to make this is a little bit darker on this edge. It's a little bright. There we go. Actually, I'll do the same to the others, too. They're just a little bit bright on that side of the gradient. There, that's better. So let's highlight some sprinkles. Control C and Control V. Press Control C, Control V. And you can highlight more sprinkles. Control C, Control V. And once you get a bunch on there, then you can scatter them around real good. But you got to zoom in if you really want to grab those little things. Or else you'll be grabbing the gradient. So I'm just going to spread them all along the top of that. Now I'm going to go through here and highlight all of these little sprinkles. By holding shift as I select them. Now once they're all selected, I'm going to press control G. And that will set them as a group. That way if you move any one of them, the whole lot of them will move. Now with them selected, I'm going to give them a drop shadow. Not so much, maybe three. Bring this down to about two, and then fade it down. You don't want it too dramatic. Let's bring this to down to about two. This to about three. Yeah, that looks about right. And you can also mess with the angle. Okay. So now it looks like you have nice little candy, pink little candy sprinkles all on top of your chocolate. Now let's grab the little sprinkles and the heart itself right there, control G, and then you'll have that in a group. Now this guy, I'm going to go ahead and put different color sprinkles on him. So actually let me ungroup this, control shift G, and I'll grab these sprinkles, control C, control V, and I'll transfer them over here. And what I'll do is just lay them on top like that. And then this one I'll group back again 
by grabbing the heart and the sprinkles. Control G. So now you got that back into a group. Now these you can ungroup and start manipulating the colors of. Control Shift G. Ungroup those. Get rid of the ones that are on the side there. And then reposition these to where they make sense. Now I'll highlight certain ones of those scattered around. Maybe that many. And I'll change their color. Let's try a green. And then make it dark green on the other side. That looks pretty good. And I'll grab a few more and change their colors as well. Maybe we'll try yellow on these. Make that yellow. And then a very dark orange on the other side maybe. Let's move these up a little bit. Now, what I'm going to do is highlight all of these. Actually, I can probably highlight everything if I move this. And then just do this. Right about there. And then deselect by holding shift. Deselect that, 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 your border, and your background. Then you'll have just the candy and its sprinkles selected. So you can press control G at that point to group this whole little guy. You know, put him somewhere over here. Press control C, control V, and then modify, flatten this new one. And then you can scale it down. So let's put this one off to the side there. Let's bring this one back up into place. Let's go ahead and group these two. Control G. And let's put this one right in the middle. There. And we're done. So let's take some text. It's right on top. Valentine Vector Chocolate. Bring the size down a bit. Let's just change that to white. I'm going to change the font to good old Scriptina. If I can find it. Make it a little bigger. Set it right in the center there. And let's make it a nice milk chocolatey color. It may be a little bit brighter than that. You can also play with some effects on that too. But that's pretty much it. That shows you how to make cool little vector candies or chocolates or cakes or whatever you're making. And if you want you can highlight these and then give them a filter of glow or something like that just to make them stand out a little more. You can glow them any color you like. Maybe right there. Bring that down a bit. Yeah. That looks pretty good. Okay, that's it, guys. We'll see you next lesson.